Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about how I can update my AI search indexes using the .NET. So in the previous videos, we have, we have understood about all the curled operation related to the storage account or we can say the container. So if, before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series where you will understand what is all about the storage or the blog container. In this video, we will see about the indexes using the .NET. So like uh, we have in the previous videos where we have created the AI services or we can say the cognitive search. So what we did, like when we created the AI service, we have to create the indexes and the indexer. Now, what we happen with the indexes or indexers is basically like we do the integration between the data source and the cognitive search so that integration is always happen to get the data now that data source can be anything as we discussed previously like it can be any database or any blog storage any file or anything but time to time if there is any data updation like for an example we are using data source as a blog or the container if we update the file if we add the file then this indexer should be updated every time like whenever we upload any file any new file is getting updated what should happen this indexer should run at point of that time so while searching the data it should give us the correct result so that we have to do so now from here like this is from azure portal if we have updated any file now we can see there is only one dog but currently if you will go on the blog storage there are two files so what we have to do, we have to run the indexer. So when I will click on this uh, run the indexer, what will happen? It will update our indexing file and it will update the index and the indexer. So when we will do the cognitive search, it will give the correct result. So we can click on the refresh to check the data. Now you can see there are two rows, like two times we have run this indexer. So now if you will go on the indexers and here if you will refresh it, let's see. So currently like it is saying all the data is success as expected. So it is coming as fine. And when I run this indexer third time, you can see it is giving doc succeed zero because in the previous uh, uh, point only it uploaded all the file. So when you will go here on this indexers label, here you will see doc succeed zero because at point of this time, there is no file got uploaded. Now, if I will go on the index and what should happen, it should show us the count of document two. Previously, it was showing one. Now it should show me the count of two. Here you can see it is count two. So that like uh, running that indexer is basically we have done manually or we can say from the Azure portal. Now this operation should perform based on the .NET application. So for that one, what we have to do, we have to write the logic and we have to update this indexer. So let's see how we can do that part. So for that one, first what we have to do, we have to do the configuration with the AI services. So we have to take all these parameter value. First is the AI search service name. From where we will get it? So if you will go on the overview, uh, you can see .NET Office AI Service. So you can either get it from here or you can copy from here also but this is the url so now if you will go here you can see this is the service name and this is the service endpoint which we are getting means the url next is the search api key and search index name so this is the index name and this is the indexer name so these two values you can get from here like this is the index name so this is the index name and this is the indexer name so these two you have to copy from here and the next the key which you will get you have to go on the key part and from here you have to get this admin key so that is the uh, primary admin key which i have pasted here you can see this is the search api key and another is the query key so this query key is you can get if you will scroll on the same page you can see this is the like if i will scroll down or like the size if i will reduce you can see this is the query key so these all the part you have to keep in mind to get the configuration it means all the configuration we needed so that is the first part now the next what i did i just added the azure ai search service so this is the uh, like service which i added and this is the another 
interface which I added. So this is the new interface which I have added. Now it contains one method called update indexer and the logic I have written here. So that is the update indexer. What I am doing here, so this is the logic through that we are going to update our indexer. So first I am taking the uh, indexer name and then I am just calling search indexer client and it take the URL and the Azure key credential. So these two things I have uploaded, uploaded here and then I am taking the re response with the method name run indexer. Here we have to give the I name and then based on the response I am checking the indexer status like if it is successful then we are getting the information otherwise if it is failing then we are just passing like it is not passed. So this is the in case of the error and this is in case of the like if it is passing successful. So that all the information we are getting from here. Now the next thing when we have to call this one. So this part should be called we, when we will upload the file. So if I will go on the indexer.cs and here what we are doing here we are uh, uploading on post. So we are uploading. So we are checking if the upload is successful then it should run the indexer means it should update the indexer. So that should happen. Now the next thing which we have to do in this program we have to copy like the same way we have to choose like our new service we have to do the configuration here as well. So that part we have to do. So now let's run this application. So when I will upload like let's put the breakpoint here. So when I will run this application and upload a new file what should happen this should update a new indexer and based on that it should work. So that we are going to see in a bit. So currently we can see in our blog storage only two file is exist and those two files should uh, we should see on the, our browser and then we will upload a new file. So let's wait for some second to get it upload. So you can see on the browser we have already two files. So now let's upload a new file which uh, let's put it in angular and I'm going to upload. So once the upload is successful it should come on the indexer file like now uh, what it should come is basically like we have to get all this information. So I'm uh, running through this application and it is getting successful here you can see it is index client let's click on continue. So here we can see all these three files and now let's go on the browser it should update our indexer. So now let's go to the indexers and once I will click on the indexers, let's refresh it. You can see previously it was 0 out of 0, but this time it is 1 by 1. So our indexer run successful. Now if I will click on this one, so total 4 time it should run. Here you can see 4 time like after the 0 by 0, now it is 1 by 1. So our document, new document is got uploaded successfully. Now let's get back to here and go to the indexes. It will take few seconds to upload the file. Currently it is showing the 2. But after some time, uh, once it gets successful, it will show the three files here. So let's wait for some time to get it update. So if I will click on this, then we can search like now we can see it is uploaded successfully three times. Let's verify it here again. So we can see the document is uploaded and the indexes is get updated successfully. So this is the way like using the .NET what we can do. We can update our indexes successfully like uh, this is the logic uh, which we have discussed through that we can update the cognitive search indexes so this is the logic and to check the status is from here so this is the way we can update it so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment if you like this video please share it with others thank you